and welcome to Paul Golf Video Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to wire up a 3 pin plug. Now what you first want to do is get your plug and a flathead screwdriver and remove the main screw that holds the casing together. Once that's done you'll be able to see the insides. From here you'll notice that you have a fuse, live wire, earth wire and neutral wire. Now to remove these wires there's three screws holding each of them in place. What you're going to do is simply remove them with a screwdriver. As you can see here I've already half loosened them just to make the process a bit easier. Once you've got the screws pretty much out of the holes just use your fingers to just pop them out. That's one, two and there's the last one. Now once that's done to remove the wires what you want to do is push the three pins upwards that will make getting the wires out a bit easier as the holes are more accessible. There you go. Now once all of those are removed then you're just left with the plug. Now reassembling is just as easy, what you want to do again is push the pins up to make the holes more accessible and put the wires back into each of the holes. And just a quick note, just make sure that each of the wires are in the right place to avoid any issues. Right, now once that's done, you want to push all the pins back down and make sure they're securely in place because you don't want nothing getting broken. And then what you want to do is put each of the screws back into the holes. What I'm doing here, I'm just using my fingers just to get them into the thread, just to make it a bit easier to screw in later with the screwdriver. You can see that's two and there goes the last one. Now once that's done what you want to do is just take your screwdriver and tighten up each of the screws. I'm going to make sure the screws are completely tight to ensure that you do get a good connection once the plug is actually in use. There you go. That's the last screw. And then once each of those are tight simply place the casing back on, turn the plug over and tighten the main casing screw and from here your plug is more or less finished and ready to use with whatever electrical appliance you want to connect it to. And there you have it. Thank you for watching.